Good afternoon from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. It's been a funny kind of day. I didn't sleep last night. I fell asleep early hours of the morning for four hours only. But during the night, I sat at my kitchen table with the word, and the Lord gave me a breakthrough that I felt was really encouraging. And of course, because my main gift is encouragement, I want to encourage you with that. You know, many of the Bible characters suffered wrongly, were falsely accused, were even annihilated by others, thrown in prison, left to die, all kinds of situations, and they were lovers of God. But in God's time, and that's the key, they were vindicated. And some of them ended up, you know, kings of uh, nations and leaders of families and wealthy and rich for the kingdom of God so that we can do great works for God because we do need money to do that. The economy of God is different than our earthly understanding of money. And I love the scripture in Proverbs. It says, cast but a glance at riches, and surely it will sprout wings and fly away. So we need to have a healthy attitude towards money. Money is not a jewel that should be hidden away somewhere, hoarded, no, because we can't take that to heaven. Money is a tool to advance the kingdom of God, and we should not get attached to it. Anyway, so when we're waiting, we're waiting on God, we're suffering, we are long suffering, been falsely accused, we're in, in a prison, whatever it may be. We must remember that God is our vindicator, but during that incubation time, so to speak, we are being tested, and are we going to come out to be proven uh, worthy, worthy? to suffer for the king, worthy to live for the king, worthy to follow Yeshua wherever he goes, worthy to give him the praise and the glory that is due his name. We are being tested, absolutely. We know the story of Job. He was a righteous man. And God said to the devil, have you considered my servant Job? And the devil said, well, it's because he has all the riches in the world that he praises you, but take it all the way and he'll curse you. And so God said, okay, you can have them. And uh, little by little, he suffered so much from the enemy. But in the end, after the whole story, which is magnificent, in the end, he ended up with more than he ever had. So the latter part of his life was greater than the first part. And so will we be found worthy of the king? Will we be found to praise and honor and glorify our Lord. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. But I want to encourage you when it seems like nothing is happening and moving towards the vision God has specifically placed in our heart. Don't abort God's plan on your life. You are being tested. You are being made ready. God has a Dafka timing in Hebrew, it means bullseye. It means the perfect example, the center of his will. That's how I'm using the word dafka, the Hebrew word. And it's a, it's a perfect word, and it is the word that I use so much lately, right between the eyeballs. It is a bullseye. Hallelujah. Will we be found to praise and give glory to our God? Will we be able to endure with stamina and perseverance and long-suffering the time, the incubation time, where we don't see anything happening. Well, God encourages us with these Bible characters that they were wrongly accused. Many wrongly accused suffered greatly. And, you know, I posted the other day on Facebook, I want to know Messiah and the power of his resurrection. And then my friend added, and, and his sufferings, because that is the rest of the sentence and to know his sufferings. Yes, we also experience the joy of Messiah, but in knowing him, we experience the sorrows and the suffering. And that is absolutely a part of our walk and our dance with him. So will we be found worthy? Will we wait with perseverance? Will we wait? I love Psalm 42 verse one. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul thirsts after you, God. 
Will we wait? There's a scripture in Psalms that we will wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. This is a really, really important thing in our walk because the dreams God has placed in our heart do not manifest in our time. On the contrary. So will we wait? And will we allow God to stir up our hope and our faith that he is going to do magnificent things in our lives in his time? And that's the key, not in my time. So I was greatly encouraged in the middle of the night. God had mm -mm, mm -mm, good food for me last night. And of course, it's to encourage you because my main gift is encouragement. We are victors and we need to hold on to him and that's the key, we need to not give up. And many of us, we're suffering so because we're at the threshold of a breakthrough and the enemy is trying with all of his might to get us to give up and discourage us and get us to stop proclaiming God's word and stop proclaiming his promises and stop believing him for health, healing, restoration for ourselves, our friends and our family and we need to kick the enemy to Yeshua. He knows what to do with him. We need to recognize the voice of our adversary. Sending you love and blessings from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim.